Hey guys, and uh, today I'm doing a video of all my pets because um, I've gotten new pets and I've lost some pets recently. So, um, yeah, let's just get started. Um, so we're going to start from animals in my room. We're going to show my sister's pets too. Just all the animals in our house, the ones that I take care of. So, yeah, let's get started. Oh, and a disclaimer right here. If you do not like snakes, um I suggest skipping over this part of the video because I do have a snake that I am going to be showing you. This is my ball python Key. He is about 2 years old. He is going to have a giant growth spurt this year. He is just a baby still. He doesn't really like cameras that much. He really likes the keyboard because I'm using my, I don't know why, but I'm using my, I was just on my computer and then I decided to film a video. So, yeah, here I am now. Anyways, uh, this is my ball python key. He is wrapping around my arm, which I don't want him to do right now. Uh, I actually just had him out because I was just filming another video, but I just had him out, and I didn't want to put him back in his cage because, you know, he doesn't really like his cage that much. I mean, he likes his cage, but he likes exploring a lot, so, you know, this is my ball python key. Now, I can't spend too much time on each animal, but I'm just going to tell you what he is. He is a uh, regular morph of ball python. Yep, that's what he is. Now, my next animals, I can't take them out of their cage, but Key is going to be with me the whole time during this video. Key is my snake. He's going to be with me the whole time with it during this video because um, I don't want to put him back in his cage because he really doesn't like being in his cage very much. Okay. He's crawling in my sheets right now, and he's about to fall off the bed because he doesn't know where he's going. Anyways... Okay, we're just gonna keep him with us. Uh, we're also gonna show you my other pets as well. I have more than a lot. Okay, I have a lot of pets. Okay, so I'll show you these two right now. These two cages have the same type of animal in them. Uh, come back, come back. Okay, yeah, I'll get him later. Okay, anyways, uh, this is Ka. I think I can get her from a better angle over here. This is my green and only caw. They eat mealworms, so she has mealworms in her bowl right now. And then this is her. She's adorable. Okay. The, the snake is back there. Anyways, this is my second lizard. Well, actually, he was my first lizard. She was my second lizard. Oh, look, she's coming down. I think she's half gecko. I'm cons I, I think she's half gecko. Oh, by the way, she is a green anole. And then I've got... Okay. Where are you going, buddy? Anyways, this is Titan. He is my Bahaman anole. I'm not going to get him out right now because he's really feisty and he's actually really mean. So he uh, tries to bite everyone. Oh, look. Ka came down for us. Thank you. Yeah, she spread the, um, the, I put some of the mealworm food in, in their bowl with them, and she, like, spreads it all around the cage. So that's all mealworm food, if you're guessing what that, all that dust is. Yeah. She likes to hop, and she's very arboreal. <laughs> so I gave her this. This is a 10-gallon tank. This is just a stare light container from the grocery store. Now I'm going to get Key back, and we're going to move on to the next animals. This is one of the mini animals. Uh, actually, there's only about three in here. Uh, this is m one of my crickets. Um, I have a ton of them. I don't have name for them, so if you have name suggestions, uh, please tell me. I would like to know what name suggestions you all have for crickets, uh, because I don't really have any name suggestions. These are the leftover crickets from... Uh, when I ha when I fed my lizards crickets, um, yeah, there's there's one in there, if you can see it. I don't think you can. Yeah, they're like in their thing. There's about three of them in there. It's a very big cage for a very little 
uh, crickets. I need to give them more food because their bananas are running out. So that's an old dried up apple that I took out of their enclosure. Yeah. So I used to have about 48 crickets, but they were usually used for feeding lizards. But now they're just my pets. So yeah, I have three of them. If y'all have name suggestions, I don't know if they're girls or boys, so preferably names that go well for girls and boys. So yeah, on to the next animals. And we're going downstairs to show you my other animals because some of my animals, my steak does not get along with, so we're not gonna show them until the end. Hello, this is my dog, Sandy. She is, she likes the snake. That's what she's looking at right now. She likes the snake. That's my dog, Sandy. We don't know what breed she is. We just know that she's a mutt. So yeah, this is our 20 gallon fish tank. We have seven fish in here. This is a red-tailed shark. This is a silver, we actually don't know what breed he is. We got him from a creek in our neighborhood. This is a mosquito fish. Uh, we have another mosquito, those are our two mosquito fish right there. Those are green tiger barbs right there, those two. And uh, their names are Zeus, Tsunami, Bubbles, uh, Red Junior and Nemo are the green tiger barbs. The one with the, that one that I'm following right now is named Nemo, and that's Red Shark, the one that's swimming around. And then Red Shark, uh, our Red Shark, well, our Red Tailed Shark is not called Red Shark. So, yes, what is, what is you doing? And he's got dry skin on his head, so I have to bathe him every day. It's kind of annoying. Anyways. We have to put him back for the next few animals because he does not get along with them at all. And he would not, uh, my sister doesn't even like, my, they're my sister's animals actually. My sister doesn't even like me to bring him into the room that they're in because he does not like them. I mean, they are very scared of him and he just doesn't get along with them. So I'm gonna put him back and then we'll show you the next animals. Actually, we're not gonna go in my sister's room. We're gonna, actually we do have to because my sister doesn't like me bringing them in here and me bringing the snake in her room. So we're just going to prop this up and I will get them out. The animals I was going to show you, actually they both need a bath, so I'll just show you them in their cages. So yeah. This is why my sister doesn't like me to bring the snake in here. They're guinea pigs and snake does snake likes to eat guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are scared of snake by instincts. Yeah, she just wants her hut back, so I'm just gonna that's a derpy. She is a black, brown, and white guinea pig. So yeah. Um, this is Oreo. He's a black and white guinea pig. He's in the fat gene. I mean, the skinny gene. He is very skinny. Um, yeah, he, his cage stinks, but, you know, because he piles all his poop back over there. Anyways, good boy. Their cage needs cleaning this weekend, so. Does your cage need cleaning, mister? Yeah does. Yeah, they both need baths at the moment, so I might film a video of me. Actually, he doesn't need a bath. She needs a bath, so I'm probably going to film a video of me giving her a bath. And those were all my animals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you can count how many animals I have, that'd be great. <laughs> I have, wait, wait, um, 12... 15 pets, but I might have to get rid of the lizards soon, and I might be getting rid of, and I might be getting another animal, but that might not happen for about a year now, so I don't know. Um, I just re-pierced my ears today. Yeah, they're, they're fine. Like, I, I barely even noticed that they're there, which is really good because I used to have my ears pierced, but then I didn't wear earrings for so long that, um, 
they just like closed up, so I had to get them re, re pierced. So I, uh, well, they c didn't completely close up, so I re pierced them myself just with these earrings. I just like pushed them through. So, uh, yeah, that, it actually kind of hurt a lot, <laughs> but they don't hurt anymore. They're just fine. But now I gotta wear them for a while just so they, so my ears like heal up and everything. So, yeah. Well, uh, I hope you, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!